In this tutorial, we are going to cover a different useful presentation tool, which is Texture Baking. Texture Baking stores light and shadow data in a texture map and applies it to the geometry. This allows you to navigate your 3D model and view it from several angles without the need to render the scene from each camera angle separately. This is the sample house that we transferred from Revit to SimLab Composer. Press F4 on your keyboard to render the house and see how it is going to look when we bake it. I am using the sun and sky system, and I will rotate the sun a bit to get better lighting. Go to the Materials tab and click Show Materials. This will open the Scene Materials window, which contains all the materials imported from Revit and applied to the objects. Some of those materials are identical, and what needs to be done is to merge the identical materials into a single material. So instead of two objects having two different materials with the same attributes applied to them, we have a single material for both objects. Click on Merge. As you can see in the Scene Materials window, the number of materials has dropped, eliminating any duplicates that we have. Another issue to consider before baking is the number of objects in your scene. If we bake the same in its current state, each geometry will have a map of its own, which will increase the baking time and the file size as well. To avoid this, select all the objects in your scene and go to Geometry and click on Merge on Material. This will merge any objects sharing the same material into one object. As you can see, the number of objects has been significantly reduced. From the Materials Library panel, apply materials by dragging them to your objects. Some materials might need tweaking or could use a texture map applied to them. You can also modify the default materials by changing their type. Go to Render and click Real-Time Rendering, or simply press F4 on your keyboard to start rendering and see how the result looks like. It looks good, and it's ready for baking. Click on Texture Baking, and then on Smart Bake. This will open the Smart Bake settings. In the Texture Size section, you can set the minimum texture size and the maximum, where the minimum texture size will be applied to small objects in your selection, and the maximum size will be applied to the large objects. The sample per pixel controls the quality of your baking, and it is very similar in concept to the SPP settings found in the Composer Render settings. Dynamic Update sets the rate at which the 3D area will update the baked maps. Geometry Processing defines which method to use when interpreting geometry shapes. Optimize Baking Time sets the maximum number of polygons in a single object. If the object's poly count exceeds this value, it will be broken to multiple geometries which will decrease the baking time and increase the quality. An extensive tutorial for texture baking can be found on SimLabSoft's website where you can learn everything related to baking in details. Click OK to start baking. And you can see that the 3D area is being updated frequently with the baked maps as the process goes on. The baking is complete and all the objects have the baked textures applied to them. Click on Show Baked Scene to switch between the baked version of the scene and the unbaked version with the regular materials applied to it. 
The difference in appeal is very noticeable. The baked version has a lot of shadow and light details, which makes it more attractive to the eye. The result is a scene resembling a rendered image with the ability to navigate and view the scene from any angle. Under Sharing, click on Export PDF File. Models with baked textures can be exported in a PDF document, which in terms of appearance, surpasses how an unbaked model would look like. Baking textures greatly promotes beauty in your designs, and guarantees a reliable way to showcase your models effectively.